Our keynote today at the Women of the Channel event was Tiffany Bova, Vice President of Research at Gartner Inc., based in Stanford, Connecticut. Tiffany joined us from LA. Thank you for being a part of this. Absolutely. Thanks for having me. So in your talk today, I think one of the things that probably resonated for a lot of people was, um, in some ways, the the um, struggle for balance in a career. So, you know, obviously you have to uh, devote a lot to this industry to succeed, and you've done that. Uh, you also talked about kind of taking a step back and looking, reevaluating that at a certain point in your life and, and doing that. Given what a lot of women want to achieve in their careers, is it possible to have the kind of balance that's going to be necessary to sustain a good family life, a good you know friendship circle, and all that, and still do a lot of the things that you manage to do in a you know pretty short period of years? Yeah, I, I would say this. I think balance in life in general, you know, whether you're a woman in IT or a man in IT, I mean, I think it's important to make sure that you find your way that that works for you. And uh, I, I devoted myself you know, unconditionally to my career in my 30s and just said, you know, I'm going to double down and work as hard as I can, pull those 14-hour days, five days a week, and you know, rack up 200, 250,000 miles a year and travel. And you know, look back when I turned 40 and said, where did my 30s go? <laughs> And I decided that uh, you know I just wanted a little bit of, of time back and, and start to, to enjoy things differently. Uh, I absolutely enjoyed my career in my 30s, and I wouldn't change it for the world. Uh, but now I wouldn't say I would say I wouldn't change anything right now that I have as well, where I've got a lot more balance. I think what might hold a lot of people back, women and men, is sort of the courage to take the leap. You talked about changing jobs a lot. You know, when it wasn't working for you, you moved on. How did you do that without worrying about, well, what am I going to do to pay the bills? What am I going to do if this doesn't work out or I get trapped in something that I can't get out or, you know, that it's, it's going to be too hard to find another opportunity? Yeah, I think I made a lot of those decisions when I didn't have a lot of bills yet. <laughs> <laughs> and then as I acquired bills, then I had to make the decisions a little bit differently. Yeah. Uh, but I made a lot of those early jumps before I had a, a home mortgage, which, you know, that sort of changes things. And then I didn't know where I was going to live. And, and, and so I, I would say this. I would say, you know, always make a decision um, based on what's right for you in your life at the certain period of time that you are in your life. Uh, I think all of it's possible. I think you can be a mother and a wife and a husband and a father uh, and have a really demanding job. You just have to make sure you set your boundaries in a way that, that works for everybody. Imagine if, you know, events like this spark something that really led to a change and we saw a lot more women entering the industry. How do you think that would change corporate culture? Yeah, I think that well, I think overall, I, th I think that people can be uh, much more compassionate in business and much more supportive in business of both, right? So men of women and women of men. Uh, I think it is a matter of just fostering an environment where people can feel like they can succeed and they can be themselves and they're going to actually contribute to the better or the greater good. And, and I think when you start to look at it that way, um, it's just a matter of uh, as they enter the workforce, if they enter the workforce with that kind of attitude, it naturally will become better. Um, but everybody has to make that shift. You know, it can't just be that the workforce of IT sees more women and we're in there doing better and then it's not like that everywhere around us, right? So, I mean, I think it has to collectively happen. Excellent. Tiffany Bova is the Vice President of Research for Gartner, Inc. She joined us here at, at the Wound in the Channel event in Toronto.